Hello guys. In this video tutorial we'll learn about quaternion dot slope function. Now before we proceed we should get something straight. Quaternions and Euler are not the same things. The x, y and z components of the rotation in the transform component of an object which are shown in its spectral view are in Euler angles and not in quaternions. Whereas if you access the rotation component of the transform of an object in a script, then you will notice that it is of type quaternion, not Euler. So to access the Euler angles in the script, we use rotation dot Euler angles component of transform of that object. Euler angles are of vector 3 form, thus they have the 3 x, y and z components only. Whereas the quaternion have 4 components x, y, z and w. So a Euler angle with x, y and z components equal to 0 will have a quaternion equivalent of x, y, z equals 0 and w equals 1. Similarly, a Euler angle with x and y values equal to 0 and z equals to 90 has an equivalent quaternion with x and y equals 0 but z and w equals to 0 0.707 and so on. We can easily get the respective quaternion values of any Euler angle with the help of built-in quaternion dot Euler function. It takes three input arguments of type float which are x, y and z components of a Euler angle and it returns a quaternion, a corresponding quaternion. Now let's jump back to unity. Here we have a scene and there's a cube that's been scaled in the x-axis. Uh, the cube has a script attached to it. Let's open the script in Mono Develop. In the beginning of the strip, we have two private quaternion variables that have been assigned the values by using the quaternion.euler function. Then we have a public quaternion variable named current angle, which will be visible to us in the inspector view also. In the start function, all we do is that we set the current angle equal to target angle 0. After that, in the update function, we check to see if the player has pressed the space key. If yes, then we call the function change current angle. And all this function does is that if the current angle is equal to target angle 90, then it changes it to target angle 0 or vice versa. After the check, we call the quaternion.slurpe function, which is called every frame. Quaternion.slurpe function takes three input arguments, two of type quaternion and one of type float and its return type is also quaternion. The value returned by this function is assigned to the transform.rotation component of the cube object. The first input argument is the from value. So we pass the rotation component of the object's transform. The second argument is the target quaternion value. So we pass the current angle as the target value. Third argument is of type float and is the interpolating factor which we have to assign a value between 0 to 1. So we pass it a value of 0 0.2. So quaternion slurp function smoothly rotates the object from one quaternion angle to another. And how fast or slow it rotates object depends upon the interpolating factor. Now every time player hits the space key, the value of the current angle will change. Thus the target value will change and we will see the cube rotate. Let's save the script, head back to Unity and hit play. Now whenever I press the space key, the cube will change its rotation 
from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 090 and then from 0, 0, 090 to 0, 0, 0. Also note the public quaternion variable current angle in the inspector view and compare the Euler angles with their corresponding quaternion values. So, I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you did, then leave a like and please hit the subscribe button. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.